Hey guys, Suns fan here with a potentially new series. Uh, if you guys like it, let us know. Uh, feedback is welcome. Uh, we can switch up the format, whatever you guys want. We'll be listening to your comments in the uh, in the YouTube video below. Uh, I want us to do expert constructed because we have been seeing a lot of draft, which of course we will do some more draft as well. Uh, but we haven't seen a whole lot of constructed, so I kind of want to do this. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is I cannot build the decks that I'm used to because I don't have a lot of the cards. For example, uh, in fact, we can just go in our card collection real quick. So I have three decks that I play a lot. One is the Mega Ramp, which is build, or you ramp up your mana to get big creeps out very fast, but I'm missing Time of Triumph, which is like the main thing I'm missing from like every one of my decks. Uh, my Rush deck, which is a pseudo, uh, I guess it's a Rush deck for the most part, also missing Time of Triumph. We're gonna be playing that one today. And then the third one, those two decks, by the way, I've been playing without them and they've been reasonably successful, but not quite as good, obviously, because Time of Triumph is like the game ender. But the third deck, which is the gold creation deck, I can't play at all because it's not because of Time of Triumph. It's because I have zero horns of the alpha somehow. I don't, I don't know what I need to do to get these cards that I need. But the most important stuff, uh, Horn of the Alpha, Time of Triumph, and Drow are the three that I'm missing. So I have to wait for the market to come out to actually... Um, I thought I already paid a ticket. Did I not? Oh, I got to pick a deck for it. So we're going to play the Rush deck that I was referring to. And I might want to change a little bit about it. Um, we can go with the current, the current iteration. So this deck, as you can see here, we have, in terms of items, pretty normal stuff that you're... You're going to see in basically every deck. Uh, Relentless Pursuit. Well, let's talk about the heroes first. We have two red, three black. Storm Spirit being like the Storm and Sorla are kind of the most important two of this deck. Relentless Pursuit is unbelievable. I want you to move a black hero to another lane, dealing two damage. Mobility is the name of the game. So this in combination with Ball Lightning, which is Storm Spirit spell, will allow us to have Ultra Mobility along with Phase Boots and Blink. So again, tons of mobility with this. Plus, we have Assault Ladder, Sor Lacan. We have Oath, which isn't usually in this deck. This is kind of replacing Time of Triumph as our game ender. It's not as good, but in certain situations, it's really good. Uh, we have a lot of push. We have a decent amount of nukes, a lot of hip fires for in, uh, initiative and just nuke damage in general. And then Black is kind of there as the stabilizer, right? We have Duel, Berserker's Call from each respective hero. Smash the defenses. A lot of people tell me to take this out, but... I find that if you're able to use it, it's game winning in a lot of ways. If you don't use it, it kind of just sits in your hand, which I understand. So that one's very debatable. And of course, Bronze Legionnaires, you guys have seen many a time. This deck has been my bread and butter for a long time in the beta. But again, it's gone through a lot of iterations, actually. At a certain point in time, I had trebuchets in there instead of unsupervised artillery. Uh, pretty good start for us in terms of the heroes coming out. Uh, so yeah, this is a good start here. Unfortunately, this creep will die. And here, I don't think there's literally... Uh, he could have Compel or Cunning Plan. Either one saves him. And he conceded. So that's game one. <laughs> All right, so that's the power of the deck. <laughs> no, that's weird. All right, for the newer players out there, <laughs> uh, losing your heroes that early is really not a big deal. I can say out of all the games that I've played, which is a lot at this point, and I'm, this is just a rough number, maybe 10% of them, I would go back and say, yeah, there's nothing I could have done because my heroes just died at the beginning of the game. Like I just got really bad drawn. Like 10%, if that. For the most part, dying early provides you with... Obviously, they get gold, uh, which is the big thing. But you get to redeploy later. And redeployments can be extremely game-winning if you do it correctly. And honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, deployment is probably my weakest point. Which is something I've been trying to work on. 
but my deployments for the rush deck are better than for other decks because i've been playing this for a long time but kind of talking about uh, how this deck was started it was a full face rush deck it always had two red heroes um i've tried winter wyvern which in theory is really good with this deck as well uh but i ended up toning it down to make it less cheesy because like i said before i had trebuchets i've won games in two rounds before which is crazy but it's less consistent is this the same guy no this is different this is a a gold deck and we're scared of gold decks so that's why you see like when i'm saying time of triumph don't get the 50 50. thank god uh like for a face rush deck obviously time of triumph doesn't really make that much sense because that's eight mana you want to be done with the game by then but for me with this deck the way that i've been playing it it's a good safety net you know a lot of times you you we almost always get a tower down by like three four rounds but if we're at eight mana and we have one tower down that second tower can sometimes be quite difficult to actually take out which is why time of triumph is just it just ends it okay so if we get a short sword that will be a thank you that is huge uh do we want a tp scroll he has lc coming in which can screw with me here i guess we'll just take it all right so here's the problem sorla wants to hit the tower obviously you'd say go here but you have to assume lc is going here because he gets a free trade um I think Sorla will be happier here. And a lot of this is predicated off of what cards I've actually drawn already, which I haven't drawn any of my mobility yet, so I can't play this uh like I would want to, which is I would put Sorla in the first lane just to see what happens and then move her to another lane if I feel the need. Like if this was my hand, I would have put her over here. So we have the choice of killing her now or we have the choice of TPing out or we can save the short sword for axe, which gives us amazing, an amazing lane here. This is a tough choice. So I'm going to go for the kill now you can't hope to and I will me. tell you why. I, again, haven't drawn the cards. Like pick off, hip fire, any of these cards, they kill Axe next round either way. So we're kind of banking on that. And then kind of worst case, we just trade, right? Or he could just heal and then I'm kind of screwed. So it's a bit of a risk. I'd say it's a lower risk, higher reward. But it is a gamble nonetheless. All right, so if I move PA here... We do an extra six damage plus eight. Six, that's 28. It's not enough to actually kill anything. So I could just use murder plot to kill PA for now, get some gold, then bait him into something later where I can ball lightning here. So let's do that. Seconds remaining. Never stop training. Murder plot, I love. I usually don't use it like this uh, with this deck. A lot of times I, I, I use it for extra damage onto the tower or I use it to redirect my attack again to a tower if I get unlucky with the arrows. So for one mana, all he can really do is Relentless Pursuit and we have to assume he just doesn't play that because it's not a normal card to play. All right. So now the question is, do I Aglody or do I Coordinate Assault? This one hasn't, this is relatively new to my deck, so I'm not sure the best way to play it. I think we'll use it now though. This will give us less damage now, but more damage later, I think. Actually, no, we're gonna go with Glody. And we actually want the arrow here. That's also fine. Can never be sad about that. So the reason I save Coordinate Assault is because I really like it on... Do we want the TP? 
I think we don't want it. Coordinate Assault's amazing on Storm. It double procs, basically, because of his passive. So now that I know I have Ball Lightning, I can just put him here. And we can see what happens. So I will probably be moving because this is a horrendous position to be in. <clears throat> Ooh. So like I was saying, we did get pick off. So we can kill Axe. And I will probably be using it from not that lane. I could do this, save him this round and pick off now, or I can save pick off. I'll save pick off for this lane because although I love this and I want to coordinate assault at some point, we don't need to do that to get the tower this round, right? So let's see what he does here. And of course, I have the option of ball lightning of into the mid lane if we want. Okay. So because he's not doing anything, I assume he doesn't have it. So I will just pick off from here. Don't feel bad, friend. If he has a short sword, then it's kind of whatever. So Storm Spirit gets the two attack anytime a black spell is played in any lane, and he keeps it for that round. So you can kind of manipulate him in cool ways. Like if you're in the third lane, you can start buffing him and move him to the first lane. He'll keep that buff until the end of his next combat phase. Which is... Uh, all right, that's 40 gold. That is super scary. So, I think I TP out Axe, because we don't need him here to do d enough damage. Uh, I just ladder here. So like that buffed Storm. So next round, he's still going to have that until the next combat phase. So this we can take out. Get him nice and full. And the round that we're worried about is mana seven with Lich. That is super scary. So we want to coup de gras any black here, which is only potentially one right now. We definitely want blink. Uh, I think we take the health pot. So six mana means we can Berserker's Call, kill both of these. So we're going to go for that. And this will be a good hero to have here as well. Potentially could be in some trouble if he procs, though. Maybe best to have LC in the last lane so we can start really pushing it hard. Let's see where he goes. A lot of people forget about this lane. They're like, oh, he already got the tower. He's not going to push that fast. But And, of course, we do have to worry about this. Vesture of the Tyrant's annoying, and Thunder High, or Horn of the Alpha. All right, he is in trouble. Because now I don't want to kill his black heroes at all. And what items would he have at this point? He has initiative, so he could just duel here. We're going to hopefully get off ball lightning in time. Some interesting choices need to be made. Mm -mm. I might just put Storm in the last lane. It sounds weird, but I might just do that. Yeah. Not sure why that took him so long to figure that one out. All right, where's that horn? He spent a lot of gold. How much did he have? He had 40, he spent 30. And he got three items. That means he could not have gotten a 25 gold item, right? Did he have 30 or did he have 40? Did I just say that? He had 40. So yeah, he definitely could have gotten 25. So we'll assume a horn and a couple of health items. The dream here is blink into Berserker's Call, but that's a big if. And this last lane is pretty... 
we don't have much to cast out on coordinated assault, so I could Berserker's Call just to take out Lich. We're gonna do this, see what he does. Axe is really good against Lich because of the armor. This is perfect for this task. Yeah, that's annoying. So we'll let him pop it and then Bronze Legionnaire in front of it just to try to block as much damage. He basically has to kill me next round or he loses. Um, the other option is to actually blink Axe to the first lane, just make sure he doesn't win here. 15 seconds remaining. Okay, we're going to make him spawn it. We're going to put bronze legionnaire in front of the creep and then blink axe to the first lane. Hmm. What's he thinking about? He could have blink as well, which is even s actually that would be great if he goes here with blink for some reason. Cause then I just coup de gras. Death is coming. So is he not going to pop this? I'm fine dying if he doesn't pop it, so. Okay. So will he have lethal if I blink out? 14 on top of that is 35. Let's just assume he has lethal. That's okay with me. But either way, we're going to do this right for the glory of Stonehall. of course he's still doing six siege damage but we're mitigating eight okay we go here we're worried about coup de gras and berserker's call is unbelievable here but we're not going to get initiative unless he play if he plays something i'm not doing anything please play an item put that untested grunt down oh thank you he's looking for the chain frost here perhaps in which case the hard marches I mean we're definitely not doing anything here we Berserker's Call, and then we Coup de Gras if he... If he Chain Frosts. He has to put both here, right? I don't need to be in this lane. I'm here pretty much every time. Right? This is a pretty good block. So... Some of you might be wondering why I don't have Slay. So the idea is to finish this game fast, right? And I actually used to have Slay in this deck. And so many times I would use it to kill melee creeps to hit the tower. So, wow. Can he possibly win? I don't think so, right? Well, maybe. Maybe I underestimated this guy. I mean, we'll find out. I don't think he can do enough damage. 14? Unless he has another Thunderhide that I wasn't calculating. Which is possible. I thought for sure he was going to put these guys in the last lane. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Hip fire ends up just working out better in 99% of the cases. At least in my experience with this deck. So... I cut that. I cut Slay for hip fire, pretty much. Okay, this is perfect. He has to blink the last lane. We keep initiative. We get coup de gras. Uh, he would have to hip fire a creep to gain back initiative, or just use uh, fight through pain. I will restore order. Stonehall doesn't care about you. You're just a spoke on the wheel. Or maybe he's just using it for damage. So this becomes a six damage, right? Six damage is added. In life or is it two? Nothing. In death you find no, he's purpose. desperate, huh? 
He has to blink the last lane. Does it take half? Half the gold. So it only gets to be a six damage one. Yeah. Time for us to get to work. He actually got pretty close. I won't lie. The positioning with Berserker Spell was pretty clutch. So it all comes down to can he get initiative? Because if he can, then we probably lose. Hip fire. Actually, he could just chain frost. If he has two chain frost, I'd definitely chain frost here. And I think we lose. I think we have lost. I'm not sure where all my damage cards went either, because this creep is blocking a lot. These are really bad bounces for him. Let's calculate some damage here. Huh? So I need 18. I don't think I can do 18. Fifteen seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Three, two. Hmm. That sucks. I guess we play this now. So this creep dies, or we can play bronze here. I'll show I'm stronger than X. So we land in the first lane and he can just call, right? Oh, call doesn't do anything actually. I'm not done fighting. This has turned to a very interesting game now. So uh, now Storm Oh, he has twelve health actually. He's gonna survive as well. That's not very often that happens. So here we need to coo and then we can blink. And we're hoping we don't lose our blink. Ooh. So oath and last lane. Oh my god, what is this, dude? <laughs> I can hip fire. But he probably has another chain for us. No, he used he's two, right? This game should not be this close. See it's another instance where uh this turn if I had actually maybe it wouldn't have made that big of a difference. Time of Triumph does do amazing things though. I kind of want to use hip fire to gain initiative so I can coo him. Or does this matter? This doesn't matter, right? Cooing him does not win me the game. So. Fifteen seconds remaining. If I use enough mana, then I can't coup de gras. Or if I use Five too much mana, I mean. Remaining. Three. My prey doesn't have a chance. This is actually a tough call. Do we blink somebody over? I think we blink 
storm. Now, which end makes blood come out? Because we can, we're not using mana, so we can coup de gras if he actually wants to play something that changes things. Why is this game so close? What can he do for eight mana that changes things? Because I want initiative. I keep saying that, but no, I don't. I don't need initiative. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, this is very... Very hard to think about. Now, will Thunderhide Pack kill me next round if with two? Don't think so. Does he have Blink? That is... Oof. Really? Huh. I'm okay with the LC served almost no purpose in that lane. I just wish Sorla was in front of Lich right now. Yeah. So he has Chain Frost again? Like, how? How do you get this many Chain Frosts? It's unbelievable. Let's see it. Let's see what happens. I, never in my life. That is incredible. Okay, so if we Oglody, that's four damage, so we need to do 12. He becomes eight. Hipfire becomes 10. I think we have to Hipfire anyway, right? Oh, wait, Oath. What about Oath? So four... He becomes eight. Oath becomes 12. No. Wait. Four becomes eight. Oath becomes 10 plus four remaining. is 14. Still not enough. We got to threaten this for later, though. So I will hip fire. Five seconds remaining. Three. What chance did you have against the storm itself? I have to play this. I should have played this first. That was really fucking stupid. Oof. I, I just... I... I think I kill him there, right? Yep. 100% I kill... Mm. Bad play. Bad play. If I can live, then I can just go so it's fine. But... Very bad play. Oh. Okay, we got to put him mid to just block. And he hasn't used coup de gras, so I think we've just lost. All he needs to put is bounty here, and we lose. Well, at least I can say that it was my fault. Coordinate Assault, like I said, is a newer addition to this. So I haven't had as much practice as I would like, but that is... Unfortunate. I don't know why I even put Axe mid. I lose no matter what here. Fight me. GG. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. <sighs> but if the game gets to nine mana, you're going to lose with this deck pretty much every time. All right, time to win four more in a row. Our one win was a an instant concede. Mm-hmm. 
da la 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 la. Oh, coordinated assault. Why? 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 Very difficult to find a match right now. Okay. Mr. Mo. Oh, we got a Kana. I like playing against Kana. Because all the focus is on her lane. You put Axe there, something like that. LC, I guess, works as well. That's nice. This is going to look really weird. I'm, what I'm thinking about doing. I am thinking about going here with ball lightning, then bringing Sorla and just plowing this down. The problem is this creep is being annoying. Because obviously his aura is great, but he's not getting creeps unless he places his own. You know what? We're going to take some risks. We're taking some risks. Just hope he doesn't have a musk blessing. But he would have used it here, I think. This is going to be uh, one of those games that this guy takes, he ropes every round. So we just place this here really ahead of time. We're letting him know, hey, we're pushing this lane, bro. It's happening, whether you want to or not. And he can't really even put Prelix here. She's just going to die to literally everybody. Excellent. This is nice. I could kill this tower next round with Sorla. Sorla murder plot or Sorla coordinated assault. Okay, that's kind of a weird play. Do I want health pot? Ooh, I actually do. Ooh, that's a tough one. Well, let's see what's behind this. That oh, doesn't matter. So short sword on axe is actually unbelievably good. And PA, there's no way. You're going to have to go to the first lane. I know he wants to maybe come mid, but that's a death sentence. So the only way he doesn't die right away is going in front of this creep. A roper. We got a roper. That's strange. So we're just going to get like a ton of creeps in this lane, I guess. That's a car we didn't see last game. It's a fun one. It's unfortunate this creep is in this lane because this is amazing against stuff like that. But I don't want to move out of here. 
So a coordinated assault, as we saw last game, is quite good. And will be enough for us to take tower on round two. How nice is that? I'm ready for the next name on my list. So I'm gonna premature. Maybe we short sword him. Yeah, we short sword him for sure, or her. Sorry. It's actually in a pretty good spot. Now, if we get oath, this lane's crazy. So I'm going to short sword here instead because Berserker's Call is going to make a much bigger deal in this lane because it's going to have a lot of creeps, right? But we are lucky we're killing her. So not as many creeps as it could have been. And with this many blues, it's generally like a slower pace, especially with Prelix. Her five mana signature card just takes forever to get online. Okay. Perfect. So now she will be getting tons of creeps. Why is that? What is taking so long for this guy to figure out what to do? Like that's, cunning plan's amazing. So if we're gonna live one more round, then without any heals coming out, Berserker's Call becomes really good. But for now, we gotta go here. He's gotta put Treant, probably puts Jamoy in the first lane. This is where murder plot is pretty good. So we can basically guarantee that Lycan will die. Unless we get terrible spawns with additional heroes coming in. <sighs> He's debating, should I defend mid? But Jamoy will just die. Jamoy does not die to Axe, though, surprisingly. Oh, the rope. I was talking about this on stream, but there's a tournament mode that they don't have enabled right now by default. Basically makes the turns way faster. I don't, I don't understand the whole putting three heroes in this lane. That doesn't make any sense. <coughs> okay. Off, huh? I will defend my people. Do I care about picking this off? Not really. I think I'll gloaty there. To me. He doesn't have items, so I know that this will kill him. Minus a battlefield control, which he has one mana for. I think we will gloaty here. We want to, <coughs> we want to limit as much as possible in this lane. And the wolf is scary. Plus, we probably Delightful. could be getting hip fire. What is this going to go here? That's annoying. So I guess we're going to have to pick off from the second lane instead of pushing harder. Eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. If we get like Oath plus Ladders next round, this is just dead with no creeps. God, this guy's going to run out of time. He is going to really. I mean, I still do it, right? And I murder plot next round. There's also consideration of just bringing somebody over and killing him with relentless pursuit. But I want this lane like this. I think this is fine. So we're just going to pick him off. doing close to two turn lethal all we need is like a ladders and we do two turns maybe even less than that actually 
murder plot gives us it literally anything does so I'm pretty sure this game's just over we want to get time to Berserker's Call this was a huge mistake though I don't know why he would do this blood will be spilled all you need to do is survive That's fun. Berserker Call just destroys him here. But I don't think we're going to get to that point, friends. We'll take the damage just in case we get blocked by creeps. Which we do not, so game is over. And for fun, I'm just going to Relentless Pursuit over Storm. Because him doing 27 damage is not really a thing. <clears throat> oh. My revenge will be swift. We can do this first. We buff up good old Storm. He's just going to concede. But I want to use this. But I want to. So the whole reason Kana is good is because you don't have to do this. You don't have to put any other heroes in her lane. Because creeps will be blockers by themselves. We must be so let's hit Axe. Because he will not take damage from this. And of course it buffs Storm. Oh, I look forward to electrocuting people. I wanna, we, we can do 80 with Murder Plot plus the buff here. GG. I, mean, I think this is mostly him misplaying. There's no way I should finish the game that fast. But you can see the power. This is without Oath. We haven't really had an opportunity to use Oath yet. So, All right. All we really want is three so we can get our ticket back at least. This would be nice to get our, a pack though because we are in dire need. We are in dire need. Important to stay hydrated, friends. This is a scary one. This is not a great matchup for me. He has a lot of crowd control, a lot of cross lane spells. That's a good matchup. <coughs> Hmm. Well, actually, it's not a great matter. We just trade both, right? He has bounty, though, so we might have track. Uh, we got to think about Sorlacon, right? So Bronze Legionnaire is not great here. The reason is we want to control the lane so Sorla can hit the tower. That's a lane open that we know is going to happen. So we just put this here and I'll hope to God he doesn't have track. The dream... For him is double track, but he only has one black hero out actually. I, mean, Don't fight. I wish I would get that when I play this deck. Do I want to ball lightning? I kind of do. So relentless pursuit would have been incredible here. We'll put him here, or her here, because Sorla, again, we just want to hit the tower. That arrow will reset, so it's not a big deal. We'll see how much experience he has with rush decks. Phase boost is amazing for this lane. Great creep blocking, great creep blocking. Hopefully this creep does not do a great job blocking. We want that in front of... 
the Bronze Legionnaire. But of course, we do have phases, like I said. So, 16 gold. We'll see if he spends any or saves it for payday, because payday allows him to actually buy the big ticket items. Part of me wants Sorla to be in front of the creep. I mean, best case scenario is this in front of the creep, but I love having phase boots on Sorla anyway. And if I had to put it on PA, that, then I'll be kind of sad. This arrow, we hope, is on the right side. That's not ideal, but... Could have used that last round, bro. Let's collect our bounty. What? That's what he bought, huh? I'm not sure about that one. Okay. That is really strange. I've never seen this bought first round before. This is like a late game Hail Mary item. I don't understand. Really don't understand. So we have a couple choices here, which are not, these are not easy decisions. We can pick off bounty, obviously. We can pick off literal creep. This creep will allow this to hit the tower and this to survive. This one will allow PA to hit the tower. I definitely would kill the two damage one. If I was doing it, oh man. Or we could just play Assault Ladders and use Pick Off the next round. I think I'd like to use Pick Off Fudge. If we hit this. Seconds remaining. Mm. Let's not play this too greedy, huh? Let's kill Bound. You never had a chance. And unfortunately, this creep dies no matter what. But we'll probably get this tower next round. Uh, actually, no, he's going to put PA here for sure. So one thing, Sniper's not going to have headshot ready, but we do have to keep that in mind for the round that it is up. Okay, short sword, huh? Oh, axe needs to heal. We'll buy this first. Okay. So he has initiative. This lane's really weird. I don't even know if I want to go there ever. Uh, this could be good. And this is okay. Storm's a really good lane three hero in theory because he's buffing up throughout all these lanes, right? That's actually fine because we can phase boots out. All right, where's hip fire good? This will have to store what we'll the ball lightning, so that's probably fine. He could duel though. You betray the red mist axe. Nothing we can do here. We can heal Axe, though, so he doesn't have to worry about Headshot next round. Headshot does three damage to me because of the armor. You betrayed the red mist. I mean, that Seraphim shield, I feel like, is screwing him over pretty bad. So if this was a normal lane... Without Seraphim Shield, I might think about Relentless Pursuiting to kill this. So I don't have to worry about that snowballing. But because they're doing two damage, I don't think I care. Okay. So let's do this first. I know how to use this. Do we want him to be blocked by a creep or do we want to kill him? If we try to kill him, then... People will die regardless, but then we have to worry about coup de gras. 
So we're adding 14 or 12 damage, minus 2, 10 damage, 24, plus assault ladders. Let's go for the tower kill. If he ends up cooing next round, then it's not the worst because we've already got the tower, right? No tower is impregnable. Be ready to fight. This is fine. So turn three tower kill, that's about average. So we can ball lightning to the right here. We're still worried about duel. We won't let stone hall down. All right, we definitely, if we can kill it with hip fire, we can just tank it, which that's what we're gonna do. This thing we don't wanna get out of control. Though there's no creep there, so it's literally just the bronze legionnaire. Mm. I guess we'll just do what I originally wanted. <laughs> And Je Bounty Hunter. There's no way this Seraphim Shield's in his deck, right? It had to be like Secret Shop. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh. <sighs> oh. Do you guys ever have a sneeze so hard that your crotch seizes up? And cramps up. Ooh, just temporarily. That's what just happened. I could short sword duel him. Is duel good anywhere else? So here I feel like I can just give up on this lane. Um, we can TP out PA. And ensure that Relentless Pursuit moves Sorla over. This, I don't think I care about this at all. But we do care about Sniper being here on mana 7. So I will short sword and duel. Because his... Uh, I mean, one consideration, of course, is that he'll be back with more damage. I mean, this has to happen, though. Because Assassinate just owns me. It absolutely owns me. And I'm okay dying here. Very okay. Okay. This looks like a game that this is just gonna be stuck in my hand. I mean, typically a deck like this will have like gold mines. Oh, he wants, that's an interesting move. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're worried about coup de grace. But I'd rather take the 100%. If he's going to Kudogar anybody, I assume it's him. Her. Okay. Relentless Pursuit kills this creep. No arrow. Thank you. Doing a nice chunk of damage here. I'll probably Kudogar her. Really? So I'm going to smash my own. I can't even see. I don't need this anymore. Double coup de gras. So I'm scared of duel. Very scared of duel right now. He would definitely duel. Well, he doesn't have enough damage to kill her at least. So that's good. OK, 
Okay, that actually does nothing. I think he miscalculated that one. I guess Blink Dagger? We can Blink Axe over. We have hip fire. I think this game's just over. So, so another example of some misplays by the opponent. That is a godly block on the third lane. But as we know, it doesn't matter. Oh, Axe likes this. Glory of Stonehall. Excellent. This was a huge miss. This guy will never buy this item again after this game, I think. He needs Blink Dagger. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what he gets. If he blinks here somehow, I just coup de grom and I phase boots Sorla into the tower. I think we're getting easier opponents since we lost one game early, which that game was my fault. This card, man. Oh, gank. The ganking. Oh, that's the wrong choice. Does he... He actually holds on if he ganks PA, right? Hmm. Leave nothing but us and rubble. I am your Khan, and I will provide. No one fights for GG. All right, we got a refund. Can never be ha You can never be uh, upset by at least getting a refund, right? A four red, one black. That's interesting. I have not seen that before. We're trading in the mid, and we'll trade in the third lane next round. So, guys, what have we learned? Where sword uh, is going here, right? We have not drawn this once, have we? LOL. <clears throat> so now my considerations are, do I do the same thing as last time? Ball lightning over here? Maybe even get a lucky arrow into Bristleback? Or do I cast unsupervised artillery and then bronze legionnaire? Let's go for the early trade. We'll cast on supervised. So this card is kind of like trebuchet, but you have to be blocking everything. I understand. Uh, this makes things a little crappier now. Well, we can put this on this side and hope for an arrow. The Legion has arrived. I never get the arrow, do I, when I want it. But we have hip fire, so we can kill that either way. Uh, no, we don't want to draw. Items are too important in this deck. So in theory, we can go here. I think PA will go here for her. So I will go here because he will not be expecting Sorla. And although we value the first two lanes more, having a hero pushing ridiculously hard on the third lane, considering how fast our deck pushes it's okay I think hmm a lot of black cards that I can't cast 
So another consideration. That's annoying. So I'll keep initiative. Not that I can play anything anyway, but I'm happy to have initiative so I can at least put down unsupervised artillery. So another thing I can do is ball lightning Sorla to the side, but I mean, what point? What's the point of that? Let's see what we have here. What's he gonna do? We won't let you reach Damn, Stonehold. he's actually very annoying. I mean, we're doing this anyway, so. Wants a real challenge. At least we trade everything. And this in the lane by itself is kind of sad, but obviously we're gonna be seeing something coming. Blink is excellent. Maybe the heal, huh? Let's take that. So this is blocking PA. We definitely need one more hero. We'll put Storm here, I guess. What's the second lane we want to push? What we're hoping to do in this last lane is just ball lightning to the side for Sorla. I don't know about this one. Oh, he's not putting anybody there. That's really weird. Huh. Oh, we're trading again. Hmm. Wish I had phase boots for that last lane. Do I want to blink over? Not really. I'm going to get that tower anyway. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ready to leap. Hmm. I'm not a big, big on this. I don't know. I'm sorry, Commander. This lane, I just don't want to get out of control. I could have cloaked her, obviously, to live, but I don't think I'm wanting to go for this lane anyway. I don't know. Maybe it was better to cloak her. I know that looks weird, but... So here, we have to ball lightning to survive, right? But either way, we're killing the tower, so we don't care that much. I we can just start doing this, I guess. Strike swift and assured. I think we blink PA to the first lane. I'm sorry. We'll it's see what he does personal. here, though. So next turn is six mana. We have Berserker's Call, which doesn't do anything to PA. But it's also the Coup de Gras turn. That's good. This lane's pushing very slowly. This lane's not. This lane's going faster. Bristle, where will he go? I don't think he goes to this lane. This guy's going to regret going to this, not going to this lane, though. The sisters trained me well. All right, on to the first. So if I had cloaked her, she would have ended up dying anyway, in theory, right? All right, so now that he's overcommitted here, I think I want to save this lane, as weird as that is to say. So we'll put Axe here. Unfortunately, we're using a ball lightning already, but... Mm, I could let her die. I don't think I want to do that though. Put it on the right side in case. Coming in. Actually, that was a that was a bad move. If it arrowed, then I would have been sad. Oh, I'm 
the stakes. That's okay. I got the tower anyway. Okay, Axe is definitely here. And we're hoping for another Ball Lightning, Relentless Pursuit. Pretty much anything that's mobility. Because we can't blink out quite yet. He can't roar, so that's good. Duel, huh? That's yeah, not, not great draws, friends. Not great. God, Sorla just can't freaking survive this round, huh? I'm not getting any of my nukes. What's the deal? The jungle protects its own. So, what are we doing in this lane? Nothing. We're short sorting and then dueling, I guess. This game's not going too well. Fifteen seconds remaining. I guess we're just casting this, huh? I get better every day. We have nothing else to do. I need my coup de gras. Coup de gras. This lane is basically unsalvageable. Why you are Just that you must die. I don't know why he held that for so long. That's the first thing you do when you have initiative. You just use it. <clears throat> so yeah, we just need to mitigate as much as we can. Of course, Axe will kill you. I'm ready to stand with the vanguard. <sighs> That's annoying. <coughs> Okay. This is more annoying though. Like, god damn, dude. <laughs> no damage being done to that tower. That's super rough. Stonehall doesn't care about you. If I had just a spoke on phase the boots. <coughs> oh, I should have dueled it. <coughs> I really should have. <sighs> we'll make short work of this tower. We got nobody coming next round, so I think we've lost. Not doing this is game losing. It's ours for the taking. And not having phase boots is pretty game losing too. Somehow this creep has done amazing work. I need to just draw. And he has blink. Ah, damn it. And he got the creeps. I think even with Oath, if I had Sorla here with Oath, then maybe I have a chance. We'll win this war together, old friend. Hmm. <coughs> I just lose. <coughs> I think I would have lost anyway, even if I had dueled it. What are these cards, dude? The and he has good. Ah, GG. Coup de gras. You won't feel a thing. GG. That is unfortunate. What do we have here? Oh, he's got Time of Triumph too, huh? I don't think this deck is good at all. PA, three ganks, three coup de gras, that's it. Why not just play mono red? Hmm. That's too bad. 
All right, looks like we have claimed one ticket again. Unfortunate, unfortunate friends. Well, that is the end of the first episode of the series. Let me know what you guys think. It's, uh, I have no idea what you guys want to watch, actually. We've never done a card game channel before, so could do some cool decks. I think in the future we want people to submit decks to us that are kind of funky or weird or meme -y, and maybe we can play around with them. Uh, I'll probably do another one with my other deck. Let me find that one. Again, it's a poor man's ramp. We don't have all the cards. We need Drow, and we need Time of Triumph. But you ramp up really fast, and you put down some big boys. This one's really fun to play. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, Suns fan, signing out.